Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll discuss about the oral questions or the viva questions that can be asked for your lab practice three practical examination that is information storage and retrieval. So these questions will only be for your reference. Don't rely, just rely on these questions. Okay. So before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Okay, so now let's move towards the video. So we'll discuss the questions assignment wise. So for the first assignment, you can prepare the difference between data retrieval and information retrieval. Then what is conflation algorithm what, and what are the steps involved in the conflation algorithm? They might ask you to uh, solve one example based on this algorithm. Then what is Loon's idea and what are the different sections in that Loon's idea or the graph that we have seen in the previous video. So the links of that videos are given in the description as well as in the i button you can check out those videos in that videos i have explained about the difference between data retrieval and information retrieval in the table format then what is conflation algorithm and what are the steps of that algorithm then what is loon's idea and the graph for the loon's idea also discussed in those videos then what are the stop words or common words you can remember three or four to five stop words if they ask you to tell some stop words then what is document representative and how to generate that document representative that also you have to prepare that is also discussed in the previous videos then you can prepare what is indexing what is exhaustivity and specificity then what are the commonly used measures of association so measures of association also they can ask you then why normalized versions of simple matching coefficients are used for measures of associations so measures of association is also important you can go through that particular concept okay so this is about the assignment number one so if you want to take screenshot you can take out the screenshot of this slide okay now we'll move to the second assignment so second assignment is based upon the clustering so in that assignment they can ask you the, or what is clustering then what are different types of clustering uh, that is single pass algorithm we have for clustering then we have single link algorithm okay so you can prepare those clustering algorithms then explain single pass clustering algorithm because you have used this algorithm in your practicals then you have also you have to prepare the example for this algorithm as well because you can't say what the external might ask you then explain cluster using similarity measures then what are IR models Okay, so what is information retrieval models you have to prepare in that we have the uh, boolean probabilistic so you can prepare those models then boolean search okay then what is multi-pass clustering technique then you can prepare explain clustering using dissimilarity matrix so what is dissimilarity matrix and how clustering is uh, explained or how dissimilarity matrix is used in clustering that also you can prepare and what is the effect of threshold on clustering so go through what is meant by threshold and what is clustering what are its types okay. and then k list means what also you can prepare that and explain clustering based retrieval so also in clustering we have different types of retrieval so you can prepare with that and the last question for this assignment is working of ratios algorithm but there are less chances of this because you haven't used this in your practical examinations but you can just have the idea of this algorithm and the steps involved with that algorithm. So this is about the assignment number two. If you want, you can take out the screenshot of this slide. Now we'll move to the third assignment. So in the third assignment, you can prepare what are inverted files, what is indexing, what is vocabulary and occurrences. Also, you can prepare the example for this. Then how search is carried out on index sorry inverted index then how to index multimedia objects what are multimedia objects then limitations of inverted index then what are suffix array and suffix trees that also you have to prepare and what is the concept of signature files this is also important then how actually the inverted files work so that working of that inverted files also you have to prepare then what are the applications of the inverted index what are the applications of inverted index and what is uh, how actually the signature files work so what is the concept of signature files and its working 
so let me tell you that for these questions you can prepare just three to four sentence answers not that much more uh, not a long answer is expected but if cross question is asked then you have to explain that particular concept okay so if you want to take screenshot of this slide you can take this screenshot of this okay now we'll move to the assignment four so assignment four is based upon the precision and recall so you have to know what actually the precision and recall is in information retrieval system what are what is the relevance of document what are relevant document non-relevant documents that you have to know then what are the metrics to use measure information systems so how information systems uh, are measured so that also you have to prepare then how precision and recall is calculated what are their formulas okay then what is the problem with these two measures then what is precision recall trade-off how we can uh, increase or decrease the precision and recall what are the effects of it so that's also you have to prepare okay so if you want to take screenshot of this you can take this screenshot of this assignment number four now we'll move to the assignment five so assignment five we have for harmonic mean okay so in that we have the f major and e major then also f score is also similar to f major that also you can prepare then how F major and E majors are calculated, what are their formulas and what is the difference between F major and E major. Okay. So some you will see that some uh, questions are more similar. So if you created, uh, if you have prepared difference between F major and E major, then you are able to solve the above or you can answer the above two questions. That is what is meant by F major, E major and how they are calculated, that is formula. Then what are the metrics to measure information system? Then what are the advantages of F major and E major? Okay, so if you want to take screenshot of this, you can take this screenshot of it. Now we'll move to the assignment six. So in assignment six, we have for 2D color feature extraction assignment. So in that they might ask you about what is that extraction or more specifically feature extraction. Then how images are indexed and how color is extracted from an image because that we have implemented into our practical exams, uh, practicals, okay, color extraction that we have performed in our practicals. Then what is multimedia IR and discuss steps on which data retrieval relies. Then what is use of image features that also you can prepare. Then enlist some of the features of image and its application. So this also you can prepare what are some features of image so then it might be the color okay it might be the color then uh, its size like that then how to compare two images and calculate the relevancy and applications of feature extraction so these are some questions for assignment six if you want to take screenshot you can take it now we'll move to the assignment seven so in assignment 7 you can prepare what are search engines and just they might ask you to name the few of them so you can name the few of them then how search engine works then what is web crawling what is robot exclusion protocol it is also called as robot.txt then what is the significance of it what are the strategies that are used by the crawler then what is page rank or how pages are ranked after you have given a particular query into the search result then what is significance of dampening factor what are crawler architecture or you can uh, they might ask you to explain the architecture of search engine or web crawler then what is harvest architecture working of google crawler so how actually the google crawler works they might ask you regarding this explain challenges that are involved in searching web so what challenges you face while you are searching in uh, searching uh, on the web that also they might ask you prepare four to five challenges and last is explain meta searches with example so in this assignment uh, if more significant questions are like what are search engines name few of them how search engine works what is web crawling robot exclusion protocol significance of it uh, page ranking crawler then 
crawler architecture and uh, google crawler so these are some more significant questions that might be asked on this assignment so if you want to take screenshot you can take out the screenshot of this now we'll move to the assignment number eight so assignment number eight they might ask you about apis so what are apis and what are their use so why actually we are using that api so they might ask you this then how to use api then which api you have used in your practical assignment 8 so we have used the open weather map api of python and explain api you have used in assignment 8 so you have to just give four to five lines of description about the open weather map api okay so from that api which uh, information you can display to the user so that also you can tell okay so this is regarding the assignment 8 so if you want to take screenshot you can take out the screenshot of this and then we'll move to the last assignment that is assignment number nine which is basically the case study so they might ask you what is case study and on which topic you have done the case study because in syllabus they have given the uh, optional so you can prepare case study on either one of them so i think there are four first is for product recommendation second one is doctor third one is for music and fourth one i'm uh, not remembering right now Okay, so just go through the syllabus and see on which topic you have created the case study. Then what are recommendation systems and how they work? Then what are recommendation systems, sorry, how recommendation systems are classified or types of recommendation systems? Then they might ask you to explain collaborative filtering recommendation of documents and products. Just it is for the example, just you can go through the theory of collaborative filtering recommendation, content based filtering recommendation so these are the six questions for from the assignment number nine so if you want you can take the screenshot of this okay so now in short you have to uh, while you are preparing for algorithms make sure you at least prepare one example for that algorithm then formulas you have formulas for precision recall f major e major okay and go through the uh, questions and see which are the formulas there are then uh, in some cases they might ask you the syntax of code or the explanation of that particular line in the code if you have attached the hard copy of your codes in your practical assignments okay if not there are less chances that they ask you but for a safer side you can prepare the syntax of the code at least what that particular line of code does okay then for the conflation difference between ir and data retrieval and uh, loons idea you can refer the videos of theory lectures so the links of that i'll give into the description as well as in the i button and also if your vivas are going or or have uh, about this lab practice is already done then you can mention that question in the comment section so that the other students will be uh, will refer that okay and now the next question is about the lab practice for that is deep learning so for that i am currently not getting the time to create the videos so if time permits i will create the videos on two assignment number two and assignment number three and if possible assignment number five okay and the second alternative for this is that if you want the course for that assignment i can give the course of that assignment because if you want to at least mug up the things then you can mug up the things for your practical examinations but i highly do not recommend to mug up the things so if you want i can give you the code so let me know in the comment section that if you want at least the codes for the deep learning assignments with comments so i can give that give that okay so now if you and now if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel because i don't upload the videos on a fixed time so whenever i'll upload the video you'll get the notification of it and if you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the, see you in the next videos.